Hi there folks, it's Maria from Truckleberry Willow. Right, today we're going to make some chestnut stuffing to go with our chicken. Um, what I've got here is a mixture of some dried breadcrumbs, some dried onions and some um, dried sage. And you'll see that it's all um, dried here and I just get it out of my, uh, my jar and tip. I tipped out about a cup and a half. At the back here we have got some hot water and I'm just going to tip that in there to rehydrate it. Now if you don't have your own uh, dried breadcrumbs, um, sage and onions then buy a packet mix and uh, any packet mix will do, you know, a, a sage and onion stuffing packet mix from the store. Um, hopefully you'll go to your local independent store rather than a supermarket but oh that's just me again. Now, over here, what we've got is we've got some chestnuts. These are out of our freezer. Uh, we collected those last year, and I've got about a cup full of those. And in here, I've got six sausages that I've taken the skins off. Um, you can use sausage meat. And two eggs. So your ingredients for chestnut stuffing is two eggs, six sausages with the skins off, a cup full of cooked chestnuts, and then you've got um, a cup and a half of the uh, dried sage, onion and breadcrumbs. Okay, and as with most things that I do, it's a chuck it all in sort of a thing. Now this has been made with hot water, so we've got to leave it to cool because first of all what we've got to do is tip this into here and then we're going to get our hands in and we're going to squidge at it okay so I don't want to have third degree burns so we'll just wait um, for that to do now that to cool down a little bit before we uh, we do that so I'll be right back me you went all blurry for a minute okay so what you do is now you've got everything together you just squeeze it like this so that it comes out of your um, fingers and that's how you mix the stuff in. Once that's all mixed we're going to put it into a Pyrex uh, glass dish and cook it for about an hour and a quarter on um, 180 or gas mark 4. I'm afraid our American friends you'll have to convert from our 180 Fahrenheit um, I think it might be 360 sorry about that I should have checked that but just make sure that everything is nicely mixed in those sausages are, are all broken up and your um, your nuts are evenly distributed you can use pine nuts or hazelnuts for this if you don't want to use chestnuts but it's absolutely gorgeous when it's done but make sure you cook your nuts before you put them in your stuffing um, I've tried it doing it the other way around and the, the nuts don't seem to really want to cook very evenly so there we are I'm going to put that now into a Pyrex dish into the oven for about an hour and uh, 15 minutes and we'll be back when it's done and there we are chestnut stuffing all ready to go with your chicken it's absolutely delicious oh I can smell it now and my mouth is watering so much so this is Maria at Chuckleberry Willow enjoy your chestnut stuffing bye